track in the protests in the states now. Police in Oregon have used tear gas and flash grenades to disperse crowds in Portland, where protests against President-elect Donald Trump continued on Friday night. There at least one person was injured in a shooting uh, in the demonstrations in Portland too. No, it's being shot in the air. The gun's being shot in the air. The gun's being shot. Someone got shot. Someone got shot. There was a scene on a bridge. Police used pepper spray on the crowds and made several arrests. Officers urged protesters to leave the area immediately. The rallies descended into violence in the city on Thursday night when protesters smashed cars and shop fronts. The police said dangerous and criminal behaviour led them to redefine the gatherings as riots. There have been protests uh, in other places as well, Dozen, dozens of other cities. In fact, that's a scene in New York. It's all centering around the uh, Trump building for the last couple of days. Most of those protests have been peaceful, but there have been some arrests. Let's switch now to Florida, Miami. People halted traffic on two major highways Friday night. Well, uh, elsewhere in Washington, a tunnel was blocked. People uh, chanting anti-Trump slogans there too. Well, plenty's been happening on the West Coast as well, reporting from California, now Caleb Mopin. So once again, the sun is down, and here in Oakland, the streets are filled with protesters denouncing Donald Trump, the president-elect who recently won the vote. You know, some people that are watching this protest at home right now, right, they might be like, well, look, Trump won the election fair and square. Why are they protesting? Are they against democracy? What would you say to that person? We're just doing what's right. This is what... We need. We don't need Trump in the office. He's just going to make everything worse. It's as simple as that. So do you think, is there a way of preventing him from taking office? We can all fight, do this every single day if we have to, to make sure that he's gone. Trump, I, he did win according to the U.S. Constitution. So you're saying you're protesting against the American democratic system, right? So did Hitler. That doesn't mean we have to accept the way this, as it is. We need to fight back against this fascist system. To have democracy, you have to have an educated public. And the public schools have been pro uh, progressively defunded both by Republicans and Democrats. And so the, the, the system as it is isn't promoting the democracy we have in our Constitution. So the crowd of protesters has marched all the way up toward the highway. And as you can see, right in front of me, there's a line of police with riot gear on, shields, clubs at their sides, to prevent the protesters from getting onto the highway. Now the protesters are, are turning around in face of this, this crowd of police with, with clubs who are blocking them from getting onto the highway, as they've done on previous evenings uh, in the protests in the aftermath of Donald Trump's election.